edition of Election What If. Subscribe to the channel and drop a suggestion in the comments below for a future What If scenario you want to see. Today I am doing the 2004 presidential election. What if Hillary Clinton had decided to run against President Bush in the 2004 election? Of course, we all know that Senator John Kerry would win the Democratic nomination. He would pick John Edwards to be his running mate. They would end up losing to George W. Bush and Dick Cheney in November of 2004. But I find it very interesting because a lot of people wanted Hillary Clinton to run in 2004, and I honestly, I honestly believe that had Hillary Clinton ran in 2004, it was probably her best chance because in 2008, of course, she ran uh, in the Democratic primary. She would lose to Barack Obama, who would go on to be the 44th president of the United States. And then she would run eight years later in 2016 and would lose to Donald Trump, who would go on to be the 45th president of the United States. So what happened if she had avoided both Barack Obama and Donald Trump, the two people who cost her the White House? Because in 2004, Donald Trump had just premiered, his Apprentice show had just premiered on NBC. So he was still not a household name. As for Barack Obama, nobody outside of the state of Illinois who knew who Barack Obama was until he spoke at the 2004 Democratic National Convention. So Hillary Clinton could have avoided both of those two had she run in 2004. Now, how she would have fared in these two election matchups, well, let me first just give you a little background on the actual 2004 election results. George W. Bush would win 62 million votes. John F. Kerry would win 59 million votes. So and that was good for 286 electoral votes for George W. Bush and 251 for John Kerry. And you need 270 to win. And of course, shout out to a great website, 270towin.com. I'm using it right now to go through my scenario. And basically, also to give you a little bit of background on the Democratic Party presidential primary of 2004, John Kerry would win 51 contests. John Edwards would win two, that was North Carolina and South Carolina. Howard Dean would win two also, Vermont, and uh, another one I believe he won, maybe Democrats at uh, Broad, I believe, and Wesley Clark would win one, the state of Oklahoma. And now, these were the candidates, of course, Senator John Kerry of Massachusetts, who would go on to win the 2004 Democratic Party nomination. Howard Dean, the former, at the time, former governor of Vermont, he would run also, of course, the whole uh, aftermath of the Iowa caucus, where he screamed that pretty much sunk any chance he had at winning the nomination. Senator John Edwards was Senator of North Carolina. John Edwards would go on to be John Kerry's vice presidential nominee. Dick Gephardt, he was the, a representative from Missouri. He was the majority leader of the House from 1986, or 1989 to 1995. Also, there was Dennis Kucinich, a congressman from Ohio. Senator Joe Lieberman. Joe Lieberman was Al Gore's 2000 vice presidential pick. Reverend Al Sharpton also ran. Wesley Clark also ran as well. And Senator Carol Mosley Braun. And Senator Bob Graham of Florida dropped out before any of the primaries took place. Now, in this scenario, President George W. Bush would keep Dick Cheney on the ticket here. George W. Bush had a not-so-serious primary challenger in George Pataki, then governor of the state of New York. 
He ran, but wasn't serious. Nobody even, a lot of people don't even realize that George Pataki ran against George W. Bush in the 2004 Republican primary. Now, Hillary Clinton, I will go, I say that Hillary Clinton in this scenario picks another person, another moderate Democrat from Virginia. No, not Tim Kaine this time, but Mark Warner. I believe she picks Mark Warner at the time. Of course, now he's senator of Virginia, the senior senator from Virginia. But at the time, he was a very highly popular governor of the state of Vermont before moving over to the U.S. Senate in 2008. So, so basically, Hillary Clinton, President Bush, this is how I see the election breaking. So you have... Maine here, Maine was won by John Kerry. Maine was not one of the eight closest states on uh, the 2004 election. I believe that Hillary Clinton would also win the state of New Hampshire. New Hampshire was won by John Kerry by only 1.37%, but I feel like Hillary Clinton would be a stronger candidate than John Kerry. I think that Mark Warner would be a stronger vice presidential candidate than uh, John Edwards was. Of course, Vermont. Vermont always goes blue. Massachusetts, blue also. There's no reason to think that any of these New England states would flip over for Bush. Bush was highly unpopular. I, I should mention that President Bush in 2004 was the first Republican president to ever win the White House without winning one of the six New England states, the first person to ever do it. Also, we'll go down to New York. Of course, Hillary Clinton at the time was senator of the state of New York. She was a junior senator of New York. Should have no time, no hard time also carrying the state of New Jersey. Delaware would go blue. Maryland would go blue. And fun fact about the District of Columbia, that is Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. has never voted for a Republican president. Uh, District of Columbia got the right to vote in the 1960 election and has voted straight Democrat every single presidential election. Now you go down to the South here. Uh, I'll save Virginia for the end here, but all of these are easy George W. Bush uh, states also. Florida Democrats thought in 2000 and four that they would have a good shot at winning the state of Florida. But Florida was a major disappointment here. John Kerry would end up losing the state of Florida by over five percentage point. It was 5.01. So I say even with Hillary Clinton on the ballot there over John Kerry, I still say that George W. Bush carries the state of Florida. Now, Arkansas, John Kerry tried to, uh, he did campaign, try to make Arkansas competitive here. I say even with the Clinton on the ballot here, I think the politics of Arkansas was already changing and it would have been out of Hillary Clinton's reach here. And I say the same for Missouri, two swing states, but I think they're both trending red here. Uh, you go up to Minnesota, Minnesota would go for Hillary Clinton because Minnesota is the only state in the union to not vote for Ronald Reagan, either 1980 or 1984. Wisconsin was very close for John Kerry. Uh, John Kerry only won the state of Wisconsin. It was the closest state out of all of them by 0 0.38. The closest state next to that was Iowa. Iowa went for George W. Bush by 0.67, and New Mexico went for George W. Bush by 0.79%. Uh, Michigan here, Michigan would go on to kill Hillary Clinton in the 2016 
presidential election, but John Kerry won the state by 3.42%, and like I said, I personally think, and let me know below how you feel about it, I feel Hillary Clinton in 2004 would have been a better candidate than 2004 John Kerry. Now, if you want to mention email, mention all this other stuff, you got to remember this was way before any of that stuff happens. In this scenario, she there is no Barack Obama. There is no emails because, once again, she wasn't Secretary of State. This is 2004. Uh, Pennsylvania, another state that had went blue when her husband was president. Of course, it also went for Al Gore when Al Gore would go on to lose that election here. Indiana would stay red. Illinois here, another safe blue state. The state of Texas would, of course, go for the... Uh, George W. Bush here, stick with their favorite son. And you go through the middle of the country here, all of this would all go red. Uh, of course, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, I don't think anybody's going to have much of an argument here. Arizona is slowly turning into a competitive state, but it was a solidly red Republican state back in 2004. Now, Nevada here, George W. Bush won Nevada by 2.59. I'm going to give this state to uh, George W. Bush. I just don't think the demographics were there for Hillary Clinton. So that's one of the big, big states getting uh, called for George W. Bush. And, of course, the whole West Coast would go for Hillary Clinton. Uh, California, there's no question there. I should mention that Oregon only went for John Kerry 4.16, uh, and Washington was pretty close as well. But Oregon was actually a surprise state. Everybody thought that John Kerry would have done better than what he did. Of course, the two uh, non-continental states, uh, Alaska would go for Bush, and Hawaii would go for Clinton. So we got George W. Bush here with 232 votes and Hillary Clinton with 252. Colorado, Colorado, of course, the Democrats would hold their 2008 Democratic National Convention in the state of Colorado, in Denver, at the Pepsi Center. Uh, changing demographics even in 2004. But in the end, George W. Bush ended up carrying Colorado was not even close. He won Colorado more than he won Florida. Uh, John Kerry really didn't pay much attention to Colorado back then. So I say Colorado, even with a different Democratic challenger, would go for President Bush. So now we're left with four states here. We're left with New Mexico, Iowa, Ohio, and Virginia. And I feel that... Iowa would switch over and go for Hillary Clinton here because, once again, I feel Hillary Clinton would be a stronger candidate. George W. Bush would only win Iowa by roughly 10,000 votes, a uh, difference of 0.67%, like I mentioned before, Iowa and Wisconsin and New Mexico were all decided by one percentage point. So speaking of that, I'm also going to give Hillary Clinton the state of New Mexico. Of course, New Mexico would go for Al Gore four years earlier. I, I feel like she would be the better candidate once again over John Kerry. Now, you have Dick Cheney as the vice president. You had Mark Warner as the Democratic nominee for vice president under a Hillary Clinton, Mark Warner ticket here. And Virginia, Northern Virginia, is definitely trending blue here. But I feel like at the end of the day, Virginia stays red. A highly uh, disappointing result for the Clinton campaign. Uh, they were hoping that they could pick up Virginia here. Virginia would end up uh, electing Bush with John Kerry on the ticket, I believe Bush would end up winning that state by about 7%. So the demographics, just like in Nevada, just like in Colorado, just wasn't there. Hillary Clinton, she targeted Virginia. I believe she would even target North Carolina 
and she would target Arkansas, Missouri, Colorado, Nevada, and sadly she would whiff at a lot of these states. So it all comes down to Ohio. Ohio would go for George W. Bush by 2.11%. So here's the thing. So wait the whole day. I say it goes into way into the afternoon here. Whoever wins this state wins the presidency here. President Bush was 254 electoral votes. Hillary Clinton was 264 electoral votes. Hillary Clinton writing the popularity that was Bill Clinton's presidency and the 90s I believe that and in the at the end Hillary Clinton would win the state of Ohio just barely I believe it would be honestly somewhere between the margin of victory in Wisconsin and Iowa uh John Kerry would end up winning Wisconsin once again by 0.38% and George Bush would end up winning Iowa 0.67. So let's say Hillary Clinton wins it by 0.5% and she is the first female president to represent the United States of America. And uh, of course, if you're a Republican, drop the hate below and tell me how George W. Bush would have definitely won all 50 states, and Hillary Clinton would have uh, dropped dead before <laughs> the vote even happened, because it's YouTube. you got to throw in some hate here. But uh, check back, because I'm going to do a 2008 presidential election scenario where Hillary Clinton is running for a second term here. And once again, if there's any election scenario you want me to play out, uh, just drop a comment below. I'd like to do one. Maybe Thomas Dewey uh, beats Harry Truman run for re-election, and I'm thinking maybe the Democratic nominee would be Eisenhower. Uh, that would be Dwight Eisenhower as president with uh, his vice presidential pick, John Kennedy. So I got a lot of fun scenarios. So like I said, like the video, share the video, and uh, drop some hate below. But until next time, this was Election What If.